The Impacts of Waves Part Do, Wave Refraction. Wave refraction happens when waves reach a depth equal to one half of one wavelength at different places as the wave approaches a protruding headland. A protruding headland is just a piece of land sticking out in the ocean, like a small peninsula, let's say. Remember that when a wave reaches a depth that's equal to one half of one wavelength, several things begin to happen. There begins to be drag along the ocean floor, which slows the wave down. The wave begins to build up because the energy is pressed into a smaller area and we get what we generally call a wave cresting over, kind of like a surfable wave. Take a look at this diagram. You can see that there's a protruding headland right here in the middle. That's the little peninsula that sticks out into the ocean here. You can see there's a little bay over here. There's another little bay over here, okay? What's going to happen is this. Let's assume that under this circumstance, the offshore environment mirrors the onshore environment. In other words, the way you would go into the ocean, the landscape offshore would decline into deeper depths of the ocean in a way that reflects what the landscape looks like onshore. So it would look something like this, that red line indicating a depth in the water that equals one half of one wave length, okay? And you can see that it's not a straight line. It's a line that reflects what the onshore environment looks like, and that would be very common. What's going to happen is this. As a wave is coming towards the coastline, because the offshore environment, where the depth of the, of the landscape equals one half one wavelength, reflects the onshore environment, the wave is going to reach a depth that's equal to one half of one wavelength at different places. Therefore, the first place where the wave reaches a depth that's equal to one half one wavelength will result in the wave slowing down there and there alone. The rest of the wave is going to continue full steam ahead towards the coastline. That will cause the wave to wrap around that protruding headland, as you can see those black arrows indicating this. And as the wave wraps around the protruding headland, its erosive power is going to be focused on the protruding headland. If you take a look at the arrows now, the red arrow is going to be the place where the wave, as it comes towards the coast, is going to reach a depth of one half of one wavelength first which means all of those things are going to begin to occur, which you can see in the diagram. The wave's going to begin to slow down and so on. But where the two blue arrows are at, the wave continues on full speed ahead. That causes that wrapping around the protruding headland. This is called a point break in surf lingo. Sometimes it's visible. If you look at this photograph, you can see that it's indeed visible. The waves are wrapping around that protruding headland and the waves over to the left side. So in other words, over here, you can see that they are continuing on full speed ahead. Meanwhile, the rest of the wave is beating into this protruding headland and wrapping around it.